99.9% of these children are not going to play professional sports, and that's okay. They're going to be professionals in other fields. And the one constant in all of those is that they have to be accountable. I've always told my boys that uh, coaching and uh, playing sports teaches them about life. The thing that we try to do with our team is hold everybody accountable for you know, being to practice on time. This is a perfect opportunity, especially with 6th, 7th and 8th grade kids, in teaching them accountability, even if it's just at a very basic level of showing up to practice on time. I would say it's because it's what I what I grew up with. I grew up in Eugene and played, the first time I played uh, what was then EBAA, Eugene Boys Athletic Association, would have been the summer of 71, third grade t-ball. This is probably the fourth or fifth time that I've coached kids sports. The first time I coached kids sports was in 1992. I was seventh grade boys. No, I coached the same team in the eighth grade, 92-93. It's an example of what makes a community like Eugene Springfield a great place to live and grow up. I've been coaching with kids sports about nine years now. I have an older son that's just in, got into high school. He's a freshman in high school and been coaching him since think, first grade. I love sports, grew up playing sports through the ESP, which is now kids sports, and it was a great opportunity for me. My dad coached, my brother coached, so just kind of fell into the family thing to go ahead and coach on up through. It's not all about the winning, drive, drive, drive to win the game. It's more about teaching them the sports, let them get into high school and college is where you know the, the drive comes in. The parents, the kids, the support that I have from them is just unbelievable. So it's just that it's almost like a family affair with these guys because we do stuff on the weekends outside of outside of the games. It's not the drive to win as it is the drive to be positive because if these kids keep coming back and they're enjoying themselves, that's a win for everybody. I've been involved with kids sports um, for probably 15 years. Um, started as a parent, coach, and um, now I'm interning and also doing some program development. The fact that they have all volunteer coaches allows them to be able to provide their programs at a much lower rate than if they were to have to rent or buy gym space, field space. If I coach a kid and, and I, they want to continue playing, A, my first job as a coach is to make sure my kids want to play the next year. And that's always how I've measured my success, if I'm being a good coach or not, is are my teams big? From second grade to third grade, do I still have the same kids wanting to come out for the most part? Kid sports does, it belongs to the whole community. It is such, if you go outside of Eugene, you do not see it. And so the really successful programs I've seen, you know, with sponsorships or uh, partnerships, really the members of the community take um, ownership in it. I have a passion for the, the game of football and um, I really like seeing kids develop, uh, you know, especially at tackle football, their middle school age, and we're really trying to help them develop into players to where when they get to the high school uh, ranks, they have an opportunity to have some success. I've coached against a lot of coaches in the area and you know all of them have really been great with their kids um, you know they, they spend a lot of time and and hours um, away from their fa their families and their jobs in order to give time to their kids and um, you know I think that's what really makes kids sports a, a great organization to to volunteer for mm -hmm.